Welcome back to more Andrew's Quest. It's morning time. Headed to get some complimentary breakfast. Ate some cereal and yogurt. That was alright. Now we're headed on towards more road tripping. We had to drive through Capitol Reef. Just because that's how the geography worked out. We had to drive through it again. Towards the next park. Made a quick stop at Burger King, mostly to pee. And uh, yeah, nearby the Burger King, we stop in this uh, parking lot. There's a train going by. But anyways, we're stopped to fly the drone a bit. It's kind of a bummer that you know you can't fly the drones in national parks. So every now and then we just stop in a random spot that hopefully we'll have some nice scenery. Maybe it's not the best uh, drone footage or like uh, landscape, but it looks nice. Yeah, it's a lot of garbage here. Oh, whoa! Who would have thought a frog? A frog? Yeah, you see oh that? Oh my god, all the way out here? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh man. Yeah, that's just us messing around while Tyler's flying the drone. And he catches it again. I was like, wow. It's always cool. So, yeah. We're on the road for another while, just driving towards Canyonlands. Now I've recorded a, a bit with Adam, but unfortunately we couldn't look at the cut because I had to cut at home. So yeah, here's uh, Adam and I talking for a bit and I'll cut it in and out as it matches up with the video. Alright, here we are, we're, we're at the Canyonlands. We're at the canyon lands, and man, let me tell you, these canyon lands are dope. Just across from the visitor center, you can already see into the canyon. Wow, look at that view. And uh, we're doing a lot of driving around here. Oh yeah, we're driving around, and um, if I remember correctly, uh, there's... Um, uh, we get this... What? Oh, the arch, yeah. There's this, this is great arch here. Mesa and arch. It's the Mesa Arch. And I'm like, man, I really want to try sketching this. I guess if you see me sketching it, that's what I'm doing. I don't yeah. know if you have any footage of that, but... I don't think so. Okay, well, let's not talk about that then. Okay, right. people don't need to know. Well, I'll, don't need to know. I'll put it in a picture. Uh, I'm going to do that now. Uh -huh. Alright. So the Mesa Arch was actually like the second or third thing that we saw. So here, let's, uh, I guess let's keep looking at that. And then uh, let's cut to some of the actual stuff that we saw first. Which is basically just a bunch of viewpoints of Into the Canyon. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much just driving around the top of this canyon and you get to look into it everywhere. And uh, I don't think any of us put on sunscreen, but the amount of times that we were outside, I think was still enough that we should have put on sunscreen for this part. Because it was pretty in and out of the car, just like, you know, go out here for 10 minutes, look at a thing, for, and then go back. Yeah. There's a, the grand viewpoint. Uh, you probably can't see it, but there's actually like two cyclists along the path near like the bottom right corner. That was just neat to see. Just two people biking around down there. They're just ultra tiny dots. I guess there's a little path that you could go along the rim. I go a little bit down onto it just so we could uh, get some cool pics of us. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? We got me, we got Adam, we got Tyler. And even uh, Arthur and Dandy. Yeah. Although I don't know if they went close enough to the edge, but whatever. Good picks all around. Now uh, here's another like tiny lizard. You think you can see it? Um, so yeah, keep driving. Driving, driving, driving everywhere. Where are we driving to now? Oh yeah, this is when we left the park and we're headed towards um, Dead Horse Point. All right, and uh, yeah, we saw the Mesa and then we went to um, Dead Horse Point. Mm -hmm. Dead mm -hmm. Horse Point was pretty cool. 
Um, it kind of reminded you a lot of the Canyonlands. Like, I don't know if you get that much more out of Dead Horse Point. It kind of looks like you're, like, inside of the canyon that the Canyonlands was, like, looking over. Yeah, but you get this extra river, so that's nice. Yeah. I remember when we were coming, when we were going to go to, um, Dead Horse Point, we were like, should we skip it or should we go? And we were like, it costs extra money and it's out of the way. So is it going to be worth it or is it not going to be? Because otherwise we could have more time to spend at the arches. And I think we weren't like, people were conflicted on whether or not Dead Horse Point was worth it, right? Yeah, but we went and it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. So now here we are, we're driving and we're hungry. So, oh, we, we had to go to the visitor center because it only had like 50 more minutes before it closed. So oh, we yeah. the visitor center. And then we leave the park to go to McDonald's. Oh yeah, we went to the McDonald's and I think I got this like chicken burger. Mm -hmm. And I got the bu the buttermilk chicken burger. Yeah. And I feel like uh, Tyler and I both ordered the same thing, but for some reason they gave me like a, hu a huge patty. And like for his, they like cut it in half because I guess it was already <laughs> too huge. So he got half of a huge one and I got like the, the entire thing of like a pretty big one. So I was like, well, this is really good. And it was good. I got it. The ten tender things. I think everybody on this trip was all about these like buttermilk chicken yeah. things. But the problem, I mean, like this time, I felt like a little bit like bloated when I started going on our arches hike. Yeah. But like it didn't last that long. Like. And the arches hikes weren't even that long. Yeah. But yeah, we're probably already on the arches hikes now. Yeah, we're walking up here, and I'm during this whole time. I'm like, I remember at the beginning of this hike went really fast for me because I was talking to Arthur about like. Uh, like this national park simulator game that I wanted to make. <laughs> and I was getting excited about it. I think he was too. And I was just like, oh man, I really want to make this game like right now. And I still kind of do, but also I'm like, I was thinking about it more and I'm like, it kind of sounds like a lot of work to do. And I'm like, maybe it won't be that much fun. Yeah. So maybe when I get some time, I'll make this national park simulator like for real. National park tycoon. Yeah, it's going to be great guys. So yeah, that first hike that we were talking about is the hike towards the Delicate Arch. You can see here, there's a lot of tourists crowding around because uh, mm -hmm. Delicate Arch looks pretty cool actually. Like it is kind of worth going to see. Although the uh, area around it is kind of like a big toilet bowl and it's very slanted. Like, he, there's no flat ground here, so it feels dangerous to stand here. And I almost dropped my water bottle in, and I think Max actually grabbed it before it fell, like, all the way down into the basin or whatever. But yeah, that was fun. Fun hike. My back kind of hurts, so I'm stretching out. I continue to walk. And, uh, yeah. Before we started the hike, there were signs saying that this is again a strenuous hike because there's not very much. Or it's saying there's no coverage from the sun. I guess if you were to do it during midday, yeah, there wouldn't be any. But there's still a bit for us. And they say bring at least two liters of water, but maybe that's more of a, a summertime recommendation because I was fine with just my regular one bottle. So we go into a different part of the park where there's more arches. This is uh, one of the window arches over here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Not really much to say about arches at this point. It's kind of like there's just a lot of arches in Utah. And some of them are really big and some of them aren't so big. Every now and then we'll see like a little hole in a rock and we'll be like, does that count as an arch? Even if it's only like the size of your fist, is it an arch though? Who knows? Ah, <sighs> yep. Yeah, here we are at one of the other arches. I guess this is like the south window rock arch or something. Honestly, I forget. Those separate arches weren't really that great. So it's getting darker now and we're heading over to like the double arches. Oh yeah, this was great. Uh, yeah, look at that shot. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's great too. <laughs> this one was one of my favorite shots. Yep. Oh. In the, the sun setting, yeah. Max is all like, oh, look at that, I got to see the sunset. <laughs> and technically I didn't get to see the sunset. The sun was already set. 
Well, let's face it, folks. Pictures of like the sun setting from a, just a regular camera phone suck ass. Whoa. Like, they're just gonna be all like shit looking. So this is actually the the better way for me to see it. That's a little bit controversial. I don't know. I mean, like, okay, you're right though. I mean, because exposure is always all messed exactly. up, right? Exactly. But now that the sun is set, you have still a pretty good view. Yeah. What so. if you HDR it though, and then you like post process the photo, that sunset photo? I guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe you can make it work. Yeah. All right. So now we're driving back. It's pretty dark because the sun is set. Mm-hmm. We're going to Denny's, actually. That was a thing that also happened. Did we go to Denny's? We went that to day? Denny's in this town. Yeah. Oh, that was the worst Denny's. Yeah. We go into the Denny's, and you're probably seeing me playing the claw machine. And the Denny's had this, like, awful ringing sound. Yeah. Just be quiet, and you can probably hear it in this clip. <laughs> and it was like that for the entire time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so the claw machine also didn't work. So you guys just ordered food to go, and we just waited outside of the Denny's. Mm -hmm. And the entire time that we were outside of the Denny's, we're just talking about the people inside the Denny's. We're like, "What the fuck's wrong with these people? <laughs> like, can they not hear this?" Like, I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know. My food wasn't that good from the Denny's either. Although Tyler said he liked his Denny's food. I was watching a video earlier about how like uh, sometimes they'll put out this um, like this mich this device that makes a high pitched ringing noise yeah, that only like young people can hear. That's what keep, I like, thought it was. Like, yeah, you thought it was that? Like yeah. I don't know. The lady was like, "Oh, some people can hear it, but some people can't." Yeah. And that was just like what she was. She's like, "That's it." And uh, we well, are checking in. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the really nice Marriott. Oh yeah. This was the best one with the crazy pool. The crazy pool and the yeah. fountain thing. And then. And we had those rooms with like the, uh, this one from Max got really sick, right? Yeah, yeah. Max is sick at this point. He's also, I guess I, I should have talked about the Microsoft thing. But, I don't know. That's, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> that's, that's not your story to tell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Max is sick. So, if we got the food, we go back to the hotel so people can eat it. And then we went to 7-Eleven to get some cough medicine for Max because he's like, uh, he, he can't go out again. And while everyone else is looking at the cough medicine, I'm looking at this Slurpee machine thinking like, I want to get a Slurpee because I didn't actually get anything from Denny's because I wasn't really hungry from all that chicken I ate earlier. But I am in the mood for a Slurpee and I'm like looking at the prices. Like if I was going to get a large, I might as well get the extremely large one because it was only another 20 cents. So it's like, fuck it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go see the stars. Mm -hmm. So here's some footage of what the stars look like from my camera. It looks like garbage. Here's some footage for that I stole from the internet. It looks good. Wow. And that's probably what it looked like. Yeah, that looks like close enough. Yeah, and then we drove back to the hotel. Wow! That was pretty good. That's the end of the episode, folks. Goodbye! Now I just gotta stop this recording. Okay, so unlike when I was joking about seeing that frog in that dead grass area, there actually is a lizard here. And hopefully you can see it, because, well, there it is. I think it's a bit more obvious than that first real trash frog, though. <laughs>